<laughs> Okango, what are your thoughts? Are we ready for this? Thank you, Trevor, and uh, thank you, our viewers. I must say that uh, as a coalition, we forewarned Kenyans on 22nd of February this year. When we went through the budget policy statement, we actually saw what was coming. As a coalition, Trevor, there are things that we are passionate and unrelenting about. Those are issues that touches on the common man. Our able member from Nyando, Jared, knows that the people of Kenya are suffering and it is in the interest of every leader to address the issues of concern to them. And that is what they do in the National Assembly as a, as a constitutional requirement. Now, I listened to President Ruto. President Ruto actually confirms to the public and to the world that he is going to tax Kenyans more because that is the only way, in his view, he can develop the country. We believe that to develop this country, you must cut down on taxes. You, not, you should not put more taxes on Kenyans. Number two, look at who is most affected by Ruto's tax regime. Is the people who are at the bottom of the pyramid. The burden of taxation must be shared equitably. But when you look at the finance bill 2024, that bill, they say it is a proposal. Well, it is a proposal to tax the hustler. It is a proposal to tax the mamamboga. When you increase VAT or you put VAT 16% on bread, you are basically killing the poor. That is what Ruto is doing. Number two, we have also seen the effort by this regime that my good friend Senator Nyutu is defending to now tax the creative industry where the most uh, vulnerable people are, the young people, the youth who are using their content to monetize. They call it uh, digital money, uh, marketplace. That place, and I listened to Ruto, he said, in Kenya, they have enabled that space to, operation, to be operationalized by young men and women. And he talked of Twitter, Facebook, Meta, all that. That is the space that they are going to tax 20% of its income. Who are the beneficiaries of that place? The young people. Who is he punishing? The young people. And we know that his intention is to make the lives of these young people I mean, um, uh, difficult. Trevor, we are very saddened that uh, we are being told that those are just proposals that will go through public participation. Let me remind the people of Kenya. When the Finance Bill 2023 came, in this very studio, Citizen TV did their best and hosted even the budget chair, the finance chair, and they told the people that they are going to subject the proposal through a public participation as a requirement by law. In any case, the members of parliament are mandated to facilitate that public participation. But the principle is that the views of the public must be factored in in the final decision-making process. The final decision-making came in the enactment of that bill very little of the views of the public were factored in. The people of Kenya said, we don't want housing levy, they forced it. The people have said, we don't want double taxation on fuel, they forced it. So when you tell us that these are going to be subjected to the public, yeah. and we know that public participation in this country, particularly with a regime like this, does not matter. We are telling the people of Kenya that you should be ready to be taxed to your death. Because this is a regime that is heartless and reckless. They don't care. What we have seen, again in this, look at the motor vehicle tax. tax. They are telling us that if you don't want to pay motor vehicle tax, leave your car. That is what the, uh, the, the media was quoting from the, the finance and, and, and planning chair. You know? So uh, how, 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 how best can you explain this? Okay. This is Utadu. Mentality. So we, we, we know for sure that uh, 
for the country to grow, we must moderate our expenditure. The Kenya Kwanzaa regime has failed to moderate the expenditure. We have a regime that is extravagant and a regime where even advisors are paid billions and they are telling Mama Mboga that you will cushion the advisors through their pay, billion pay, by being overtaxed. We have a regime that they want to renovate every building. They want to buy new cars. Today you are seeing the office of the deputy president. They want to renovate at a cost of 1.2 billion. The Arambe one and the current one, 1.2 billion. We saw the other day the state house were being renovated. What is the priority? Okay. The people of Kenya that are suffering or the buildings that will forever remain there. Okay. We are telling the president that you took out of office to protect lives. Today, the hustlers that voted for you yeah. are telling you, Mr. President, enough is enough. He has so told us that, you know, Kenyans are taxed less, whether you compare to the DP, uh, GDP or what. But the essence of doing that, Trevor, is you actually increase taxation on everything to achieve the 22% compared to the GDP as he talks about. So we are asking, Mr. President, yeah. that for us in the coalition, we know that you cannot grow this country through taxation. Okay. But we know yeah. you can use the principle of public finance by ensuring that the burden of taxation is shared equitably. Don't hurt the poor. Okay. Don't hurt the less, uh, the vulnerable. Don't hurt the weak. Okay. Please protect them by not overtaxing them, right. Mr. Yeah, President. Can